Good morning. Happy Saturday. It's too early on a Saturday. It's really not. It's like 11 a.m. almost. Yes. It's really not that pretty, early. That's pretty early. No, it's not. People have been up since like 6. Not me. Because. Not this guy. What are we doing today, Wemmy? Um, well, first of all, there's another f snowstorm out here that decided to accumulate overnight. Didn't see this one coming, that's for sure. Yeah, not this much. Jeez. Yeah, so that doesn't help the situation this morning. But we're going to go look at our um, hopeful ceremony location. If it's great, then we have a ceremony location. If it's not great... We're back at square one. Then, yep. Gotta hit the road again. You don't Thanks, need to Siri. <laughs> Metron? Yeah. It wasn't Siri. That was Waze. Do you guys know the app Waze? It is so good. I'm not sure, like, if it's in all countries, countries and stuff. But it's called Waze, W A Z E. And it's really good for, like, it's okay for directions, but it's better for um, letting you know what's going on on the road. So, like, it'll show you, oh, there's a red stretch of road, and it'll tell you what's causing that red stretch. Like, it'll be, like, heavy traffic, accident. Um, this guy trying to turn left. Yeah, like, it tells you exactly what's going on in the roads, and that's why I love it. Like, if there's, like, a cop ahead or whatever, and people tap in, it tells you. It tells you when they're, like, um, traffic light. Not traffic lights. What are those things called? Traffic cameras. Okay, how do traffic cameras help traffic or slow traffic or whatever? They just let you know, hey, don't run that light. There's a traffic camera there. Oh, you get a ticket. Red light cameras. Yeah, red light cameras. That's what they're called. Yeah. yeah, so it lets you know that kind of stuff. Would you shut her up? I'm God. trying to. I got distracted. Yeah. I'm just kidding. But Waze is pretty cool. I love it for that reason. They're now getting integrated into Google Maps as well. They are? Yeah, so when you do directions on Google Maps... Mm -hmm. and uh, it'll bring in some ways, accidents or whatever. Cool. And, oh yeah, it tells you accidents as well. Like it tells you everything. Yeah. So that's kind of kind of. So big you deal. can know like if it's you know if the red is worth journeying through or not. Like if it's a red that's just heavy traffic, then you know at least it's moving. If it's yeah. a red that's an accident, you're like uh. It might, and it'll tell you also if there's a road closure, like if the accident has lane, caused even lane closure. a lane closure. Oh, yeah. So that just really helps you kind of plan your journey a little yeah. better. And I think it's even more useful when you have a passenger, because when you're the driver, you can't really, you know, navigate through and see what's coming ahead. I mean, you can, but you shouldn't. So when you have a passenger, at least, they can definitely tell you the exact and take the time to look through it. <clears throat> Like, do you guys have those laws? Because I know not all states or cities or provinces yeah. have them. The like, it's not all. I know. Yeah. I'm asking, like, where? Like, is there any place out that still doesn't have it? Definitely. Where? I don't know where, but okay. definitely. Yeah. Because um, Florida just got it, right? Oh. Like, last, yeah. last yeah. summer. Yeah. Yeah. Drive safe. I remember, like, when we first started doing, like, our videos, people used to come and be like, hey, what, me be careful when driving with the camera. And I was like, no, 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 guys, I'm not <laughs> holding a camera while driving. It's sitting on my dashboard. Yeah. And I hit record before I start driving. And then... Just edit it. And then when way. I'm done, like, when I get where I'm going, I turn it off and they just cut out the dead air yeah. that I don't talk in between. So I'm being safe, guys. I'm practicing safe driving as you, much as I can. You betcha. I had another glass of wine at work yesterday. My boss is a bad influence, guys. Was it a good wine? I think the other one might have. I don't know. He asked me that. He's like, was it good? I'm like, they all taste the same to me. He probably didn't like that response, nope. but That's very I'm not going to lie. I don't notice the difference. Especially when it's, like, when it's white wine, I think I'm more like in tune with it because it just doesn't taste like bitter. Red wine, I find it's just bitter all the time. I'll say it's the same to me. And because I think, because Dave had interviews. Oh, yeah, tell him about that. Oh, God. <laughs> Dave had an interview yesterday. You tell him, actually. <laughs> so, you know, we're, we're looking for, for new candidates. So we're interviewing people, you know, a lot, like a, a fair number. Like, I think I've had, I don't know, like 12 or so. So, you know, nothing crazy, but we're a small company. But uh, last night, so we, we put up our blocks of time in, in terms of availability. Not so much myself, because I'm available all the time, but, uh, you know, my boss who's in meetings, meeting after meeting. So he puts up a block of available time. And then the lady who 
schedule, she has a, an initial phone interview, and as long as you pass that, then you get brought in for a real interview, and she just books it whenever it's available on her calendars. So she books this kid for Friday night at 7 p.m. Yeah, who does Just that? One, who does that from the from our perspective, from the hiring company's perspective? Nobody wants to interview a kid 7 o'clock on a Friday night. And what kid and wants what to go kid? for an interview at 7 yeah. p.m. on a Friday night? We don't want to hire this loser. Like, get a life. <laughs> Jeez. So, whatever. We're, you know, we, we suck it up and... and but it's not like you're working shift work. It's a job that's, yeah. you know, a ten, uh, 9, to, nine five. to 5 or whatever. Yeah. And yeah, anyway. Go so, on. so we, uh, you know, we just put in a few extra hours and wait for this kid. And, you know, no big deal, really. But all of a sudden, you know, you, most of our candidates show up 20 minutes or half an hour early. And I'm just going to toss this out there. If you have an interview, sure, show up five or ten minutes early. Don't show up thirty minutes early. Don't show up forty minutes early. You look like an idiot. It's just awful. <laughs> Take we, it easy, oh, babe. we don't hire those people because it's just like you need to understand punctuality is a good is a good quality to have. But yeah, forty minutes early, you're, you're putting wasting time. you're putting other people in inconvenience. It's terrible. So anyway, so that's my rant. Now, in defense of those people, I'm going to chip in here. I said to them like a lot of these kids are probably taking public transit, but not. So, not, yeah, and we, we have talked to some who have been there 40 minutes early and they drove. Then sit in your car. Sit in your goddamn and car. And text your know. friends. Like, research the company. Oh, Go God. on Facebook. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Anyway. Go on. Um, so this kid is, you know, uh, 10 to 7 and he's not there. And we're like, huh. Like, maybe this kid's going to be a not little bit different. Seven, he's yeah. just going to show up on time. Good for him. And then 10 after, 7 <laughs> rolls around. And so two of the guys, me and another guy trying to figure out, you know, should, what do we do? We give him, we'll give him till 7.15. And then it was like, you know what, let's call him. Let's go out of our way and, and make sure that we're at least trying for this kid. So we give him a call. We give him a call and yeah, no, he's not picking up. And he did not come. And I was very angry. And I'm still a little peeved, as you can tell. <laughs> but needless to say, <clears throat> Uh, the, the funny thing is, so I was telling Tilly about this, and a similar situation happened. He had two candidates, and they were super close together in terms of who he wanted, and, like who's one and who was two. So he calls him back in for a second interview. Number one shows up, nails it. Number two was supposed to be at 10. Got a mix up somehow. She didn't show up until two, and she's just like, on her way there, she looked at her calendar again and was just like, oh my god, it was at 10, not at 2. She calls and she's like, I'm so sorry, I was coming in for 2, I totally thought it was 2. I'm really sorry, blah, blah, blah. So he's just like, wow, you're not getting this job. Aww. So anyway, she comes in, they offer the job to the first one, she didn't take it. So then he's like, well, I guess, I guess it we'll, offer it to, yeah, we'll offer it to number 2. Number 2 takes the job and, oh jeez, and he says she's, uh, She's one of the best tires they've ever had, and uh, part of, yeah. part of the reason though is because he hangs it over her head. How she was so late uh, for her interview, so she feels guilty about that and puts yeah. in like extra effort for that. Aww. So it's just kind of funny. It was meant to be her job. Yeah, yeah that's good. So it was kind of fun. So wait, if you're out there, you have a chance. <laughs> but not with me. I I don't like that. You're not that not nice. Yeah, like, well, I mean, it was cool for me because we got dinner out of it. Boss bought dinner for everyone that was still there at 7 p.m. on a Friday night. Which was no. surprisingly a lot of a people. A lot of people, yeah. Yeah. And that's how the wine, this is how the wine story actually came in. Yeah, it was, he bought Boston pizza for everyone. Like, we, we each chose what we wanted. And then he comes in with the food guy here. He's like, what, would you want some wine? Like, no, thank you. No, thank you. He's like, really? Come on, Webby. You want some wine? You should have a glass. I'm like, I don't want any, though. <laughs> okay. I was like, okay, I'll have a glass. So he poured me a glass. We ate, finished eating, barely finished the little glass that he poured me. He's like, you want some more? I'm like, no. <laughs> like, I'm good. He's like, come on, you do it. I was like, no, for real. Like, I'm saying no, I'm good. And then what then does he do? The he corks the bottle and says, here's a bottle, have it as a nightcap. Like, oh my gosh, I don't want any more wine. Good old half a bottle nightcap is great. <laughs> so then we have, I have like two half, what, half empty bottles or half full? That's how you look at it. Yep. I have two half full 
couple bottles of wine sitting there that I'm probably never going to open because I actually don't really like red wine that at all. <laughs> yeah, so unless someone wants to come over and drink my red wine, you're more than happy to because it's there and it's apparently really good wine because my boss only gets really good wine, so it's really good wine. I just don't appreciate red wine as much. If it were white wine, I'd be like, yeah. Needless to say, we had a good night last night. Okay, don't mind yourself. You were out yesterday. You know, before I went out. Okay. And hey, I had a great night out. Did you? I did. You should have taken a camera with you. I would have if I had my phone. Yeah. We'll get it. One day. One day. One of these days. So maybe we'll try to show you guys the venue location when we get there. We should. Yeah, for sure. And I don't know how much of it you'll see, seeing how it's just, just snowing so much, but I'll try to get a clear vision for you guys. Sounds good? Sounds good. Alrighty. Sounds dandy. It's dandy, handy, dandy notebook. Do you remember that no. cartoon? No. It was Blue's Clues. And okay, it's handy, it's... dandy notebook. Doesn't matter what it is, I don't remember. You never watch Blue's Clues? I don't think so. Yeah. What kind of a childhood did you have? Not a child of teenager, because that was when I was a teenager. One where I worked. Well, if you were a teenager, I was an adult pretty no, much. No, you were. Because I'm 12 years older. Than no, you. you're not. You wish you were. No, why would I wish that? I don't, because you're saying it. I just don't wish it. No. No? No. Okay. Blue's Clues is cool. So with Molly. Do you know Molly? No. The big comfy couch? No. <laughs> I didn't have cable. Like, we go through this, like, once a week. <laughs> Man, just bringing my childhood into question. Did you have YTV? No, that's on cable. That's cable? We had, like, four channels. So what did you have? CBC, CTV, Fox, and Global. Gosh, there are no kids' shows on those channels. No! But I worked on the farm, so it didn't matter. We didn't watch TV. You watched real pigs instead of, like, cartoon pigs. I didn't watch them. I fed them. Yeah, I that's part them. of watching. I don't know. That's what Dora pretends to do. She's like, hey, let's walk. And you walk with Dora. So you walk in real life instead of pretending to walk with Dora. Okay, what does that have to do with watching pigs? Like, because they are they were cartoons like that as well. We would be like, or it's let's like, feed let's the practice pigs. watching the pig. No, let's feed the pigs. And then the one the actual cartoon would go and they do like a POV of feeding the pigs. So you were legit feeding the pigs. I see. Yeah. Hands on. Okay. Hands on kind of All right. Hey guys, so we're outside the venue. For the ceremony. For the ceremony, possibly. The hall was not acceptable. The hall? Like, we could have our reception here. Oh. But, no. Rehearsal the Wednesday or Thursday before your ceremony. Right. So, where the pillars are, that'll be your sound and music, that sort of thing. Okay. The two black lampposts. Yeah. In between there, the minister will stand. Two of you will be on this side, and then bridal party will be on either side of the hedges. And then guest chairs will be on either side of the path facing the water. Okay. And, and how many, like, fits in that kind of area? We can fit up to 400 down. Okay. Okay, cool. What do you guys think of this location? So you guys can see the water, like, we'll walk up to it. So that fountain would be running, and then... This is your long walk down. Okay. This is my long walk. This is a great walk down. Do -do 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 -do. I'm going to have to walk fast with this lens. I can't just stroll. It'll take me like 20 minutes to get up there if I just stroll. Probably not. Like, so how far back do you think the chairs would come? That's my thing. No, it's they're only up here. Not, there's no way, way back. For 200 people? I'll show you. Okay. Well, well, that's why I asked though. But yeah, we'll, we'll make a beautiful walk. Okay. Hi. So I'd look left and be like, hello. Do my queen wave. Look right. Hello. I wouldn't wave. I don't think there's anybody back here. Really? I don't think so. <laughs> like I think it's, because you're in just theater style, right? So like I think. Do you think we can fit 200 people on this little path? No way, babe. Jeez, I don't know. No way, babe. Do the trees get Maybe that's just that. Yeah. 
at how far back do people sit. Yeah. Because if we're coming all the way up here, yeah. wait, are we here? We are just in front. We're just right, we're right here. Right here. So I'd say that side is like, Whoa, we're going to get blown in the water, jeez. On the one side, it's like, um, six, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, I'd say six rows, six yeah. rows, but here you can get ten. Mm-hmm. I guess that's so yeah. I'm going to walk backwards because, oh, otherwise we're walking right into the wind. Wait. I mean, when we're walking back, I'm gonna walk backwards. It's pretty. And like, I just like like looking left and right. Like, obviously, it's a foggy day. Yeah. It's all water. It's all water, guys. Oh. You, know, they're, they're, you can start to see the land there. Right? Yeah. Nice. It's beautiful. Okay, let's go. So we'd sign here, and I'd be like, "We're married!" And then jump in the water. Hurry the wind died down. Okay, guys, I'm gonna turn off the camera now because. Jesus Christ. It's legit out here. I'm going to drop my camera so I can see where I'm going. Bye! Caught you on camera. <laughs> mm-hmm. What'd you get? These Vicky's sea salt and vinegar. And what's in your pita? A bourbon chipotle from Extreme Pita. And a dole orange juice. And I got... Chicken and beef teriyaki with sweet chili sauce Man, and OJ. You're not very good at selling it. I wasn't trying to sell it, babe. I am. I see. That's what it looks like out there, guys. I don't know if, let me see if I can zoom. It looks like I'm lying because you can't actually see the snow falling. But it's falling, guys. Trust me. There you go. You can see it against the man's coat. Yeah. There you go. It's falling. I'm not lying. Look at this guy. Um, so I was just looking at my phone and someone asked if we're having um if we're not having a traditional Nigerian wedding. So I'm gonna confirm it now. We are having a traditional Nigerian ceremony as well. So, I double confirm. Yeah, so yeah. it's legit. We're having three different things to get us joined in holy natural. Four? Oh yeah, four. Four. Yeah, we're we're going all out guys. Um, I'm gonna eat though because I'm starving. I haven't had breakfast and this isn't cool as a breakfast food, but it's like two o'clock, so it's gotta eat. So, for those who are coming to our wedding, this little mall here is great because they have food and all kinds of shopping. Mm-hmm. And it's only close to the hotel that people will be staying in, so it kind of works out. Like, you mean the one right here? Yeah, well, it, should other be, one. it should be done anyway. I think it'll be done for sure, yeah. So, we realized while we're eating that we have an hour and 45 minutes to kill before we're going to see our venue. Yeah, it's done reception But when we over here, the brain child that she is, realized that we can fill out our registry. And uh, so we already registered. Actually, I'm not sure how it works. I don't think, I don't know. They said it contacted you. It's yeah, they sent us an email. They said they contacted you, but they never did. Yeah, they sent us an email. I know. Saying they would contact you. Oh, the email said they contacted Yes, they never did. Anyway, we're going to try and pop into the store and we'll see if we can, you know, pick up the gun and start shooting around the store. <laughs> Blocking don't around the store. Don't do that in public. That. We might get over. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. What do you want? Golf clubs. They don't have golf clubs at Home Outfitters. Hmm. Yeah. Wemmy, whew. Wemmy tries to get me to eat spicy things. And this is going to be a little embarrassing, but this is bourbon chipotle. And my mouth is on fire. Um, is Look at that pepper. It? Yeah, there's cheese. Yeah, I was going to try it. Mm-hmm. Of course there's cheese. I know, cheese it's makes you. everything better. It's you. I should have known. I don't know why I bought it asking. Here's a, here's a question for everyone out there. So, Wendy and I were at the mall the other day, and we were walking by a Licenza, and there was a lingerie. Mannequin lingerie. Oh, mannequin. we want to get you a ring. Yes. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, there's a lingerie mannequin. Wendy points it out and says, Wait, that's lovely. You should think about getting that. You know, for after we're married, obviously. Mm-hmm. And I was like, no, it's not, not my style, right? I didn't find it that good looking. But next to it was another mannequin, just in brown panties. I was like, there, that, like, that's something that's sexy. And then when we said, so you're attracted to this mannequin? And <laughs> that's not what I said. Absolutely gets mad that. Really, babe? Yeah. 
Really, that's not what I said. If that wasn't your words. No, that, what but I you said was, was oh my, cause she was, um, she was a mannequin. It was a photo. Right. Sorry, it was a photo of the, the, the one that I pointed out. And brown pants. And he stopped, and he's just like, "That's good looking," or whatever. And I was like, "Mm-hmm." You just want to stare at her breasts. That's what I said. But she was the one who like brought my attention yeah, to the I story. I brought attention to the mannequin, and, yeah, and not I to the person. I mean, I didn't like what the mannequin had on, but I did like what the person had on. I guess. I think a mannequin had it too, and I pointed it. Out. But anyway, it's just kind of funny. Women do like, these do that? dirty what, tricks. What do people out there like that are find more attractive? Brown panties or like full out? Laundry, because here's the here's why he didn't like the laundry because it covers up the stomach. That was your thing, right? You're like it comes up with like a granny thing. Yeah, yeah, it looked weird. It looked like an old school bathing suit. I disagree. I think they're still because they have cutouts and stuff. That's what makes it it's weird. It's like a reveal a little bit of skin. Yeah. I'm not gonna do when I marry this man. <laughs> Do not have to buy laundry. <laughs> also, we're finally getting closer to starting our premarital counseling classes. One day we'll get there. One day. <laughs> One day. We've been going back and forth to our church since, literally since, oh, the Sunday after we got engaged. Which is like four days after we got engaged. We've been going back and forth with them since about starting our premarital counseling classes. But we're getting closer, guys. We're just one more step away. Maybe two. Two. Got to pay and yes, contact the official. Because my uncle might be our official. He's a pastor. Yeah. Well, I mean, I have a bit different food taste than so. As you can see, I have a pita. She has teriyaki. We're fine with that. I think I'm okay, okay with that. Okay. Anyway, so we, we do this fairly often. In that if we go to like a strip mall where there's you know something that I like and something that she likes, we just split up and then come back. No big deal. And there's a family over to our left, and uh, and they have they've done the same thing. There's a you know, the guys have the pita. Yeah, so father and son have pita, and then mother and daughter have teriyaki. Yeah. That's going to be us too, with our kids. Go Absolutely. My daughter's going to be all covered. Yeah. Hey guys, so am I crazy or what? Do you see how snowy it is out here? And I'm getting myself some frozen yogurt because I just feel like it. Yeah.